Okay, Crystal, uh, I'm going to go over some of your writing with you um, uh, so you can make it better. The first thing I see when I read your introduction is it says, when I was eight, my brother and I went outside to, outside to ride bikes. Um, that is not very intriguing. Uh, that is not a catch or a hook. Okay, so I need you to to come up with some way to 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 make it a, a hook or a catch so that I want to keep reading because I don't want to keep reading an eight-year-old riding their bike. Okay, so uh, you need to find some way to spice that up. You might go to um, I remember seeing the beautiful blue sky, uh, then the black street. Okay, I tumbled over, and you could start with actually falling off, and and how traumatic it was. That that would might want me to keep reading, or you could t start with um, I saw the seaweed green van coming down the street. You know, it looked uh, ominous, or it looked creepy, or whatever. Uh, but come, try to start with something that's intriguing, so that the reader wants to keep going. Okay, um, and then. Um, Is, okay, so uh, when I was eight, my brother and I went outside to ride bikes. Then my brother Ryan said, I want to try something. Um, that's fine. That's punctuated correctly. What is it? I said. Okay, so usually instead of I said, you're, you're going to put the dialogue first, and then you're going to put I said afterwards. What is it? I said. And that should be one paragraph. Then you start a new paragraph. Get on top of the handlebars, he encouraged me. I want to try something. Okay, new paragraph, and then uh, new paragraph, because that's each each dialogue is its own paragraph. When I got on top of the red and hot handlebars, I had to leap on top of them while he held the bike. Then he got on and started writing, ridding. Okay, only one D. Um, after we were ridding or writing for a, uh, for a minutes for a few minutes, a seaweed green van came down the street. Ryan told me to ha hang, hold on, but I did not listen. Um, what is the significance of the van? Um, how did he get pulled over? I don't understand. Uh, was he in the middle of the street? Was the van coming down quickly? Did you almost get run over? Um, t you know, why is it significant? Um, that's what I want to know. It says, and then you color code this uh, red, and I don't know why, because a, a red is supposed to be what you're thinking and how you're feeling. It says, when he got pulled over and jammed on the brakes, I fell off. Okay. Uh, I remember seeing the beautiful blue sky. Uh, okay, I guess um, this is what you're saying, that you remember what you're thinking. Um, not what you remember. Um, thinking is a little bit different. Thinking is what you're thinking of the situation, not what you're remembering about the situation, okay? The whole thing is about what you're remembering because it's the incident. So I know why you marked this red, but it's not correct, okay? Uh, I, I remember seeing the beautiful blue sky, then the black street. You're just recalling details, but you're not telling me what you're thinking about the situation. Like, why the heck did I climb on the handlebars? What was my brother, brother trying to do, right? Those are the type of thoughts that should be going through your head. Or, you know, something. Or how you're feeling. It says, I even slipped forward, which caused uh, uh, to uh, skin my knees. I, I was wearing shorts, too. My brother asked me in a concerned voice. Okay, this doesn't belong in this paragraph. New paragraph, are you okay? My brother asked me in a concerned voice. So that would be its own paragraph. Then instead of I told uh, him no, this is no was the wrong no. This is no that you know something. Okay, I told him no. You should, you should say, no, I'm not, I cried. Okay, new paragraph, new dialogue. Um, he told me to go inside. No, don't, don't give me indirect dialogue. Well, go inside and get a Band-Aid then. <laughs> okay. Uh, so new dialogue, no indirect dialogue. I wanted you to put the dialogue in, in its proper paragraph. I scurried. I like that. That's a good word, a good descriptive word. I scurried inside, showed my mom, and she cleaned them up and put on a band-aid. What is them? Okay. I know it's your knees, but use the, uh, clean my knees up um, and put on a band-aid. Uh, um good as new I told her or she probably told you that oh she said good as new so a uh, new paragraph good as new she said thanks I told her I went back outside okay so um, you're gonna have to this is all part of the incident this entire thing is incident 
and you really don't have any response in there, what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Okay, uh, when you're tumbling off the the handlebars and you're worried about hitting your head on the pavement, I want I want to know what you're experiencing. I want to know what you're feeling. I want to know what's going through your head. I'm sure you had to be angry at your brother. Um, I'm just assuming. Um, you know what little sister wouldn't be just out, outraged at their brother for wrecking the bike when they're on the handlebars, right? Um, so um, you you need to. Uh, puts your response in there because you you don't have a response even though you marked it red okay this is all part of your incident um and then your reflection it says when i went back outside i told my brother that i i should have listened to him that's when i thought to myself i will listen to him from now on because he is older and knows more about uh, more than me that's when my brother said slow poke because i was just sitting there on my bike okay uh not, not punctuated correctly um on my bike after that we just went back to the riding our individual bikes okay uh this right here is not doesn't belong in your reflection okay the, he knows more than me um i you know i like the attempt I, i'm not sure how significant i would say this event was um i guess for the most part because um you say that you should listen to your brother but by the sounds of your riding sounds like your brother kind of put you in a dangerous situation made you climb on his handlebars and and you got hurt because you listened to him to begin with um th i mean that's kind of what it leads me to believe uh so y you know i don't know um I i'm not sure how significant this incident is for me but you can make it that way you do have a reflection so i'm okay with it i just don't know if it's a significant event uh, that's all i'm going to say about that um but you do not have a response you don't tell me how what you're thinking and how you're feeling okay so we need to fix that and fix the dialogue that i talked about and um, um in your editing that's what you should do okay good job good luck